Zulu Tango Foxtrot. This is Captain OG. Do you read me? Over. This is Zulu Tango Foxtrot. I read you loud and clear, Captain. Over. ZTF, please inform Alpha 6 that RS Golf at 9472367 has been secured and ready for COP. Over. Copy that, Captain. Alpha 6 wants a police call at Fort Chop at 7052778. The rumor is that the High Command wants it as an FOB. He wants you asses and elbows in the DFAC and the MTF especially, as the upper brass is concerned about infection. Over. Copy that, ZTF. However, I need a little time to heal up and find a BFH for that place. It's highly kinetic, you know. Over. Heal up, did you say, Captain? Over. Affirmative, ZTF. I got a little too near an IED when I was scouting Fort Baggs the other night. My armor kept me vertical, but my fourth point of contact makes sitting a fucking ordeal. Over. Woo-wee, Captain. Might I suggest you be a little more careful around them older forts? They're notorious for bouncing betties. Over. Copy that, ZTF. Over. Captain, you been retrieving my speedballs okay, sir? Over. Off and on, ZTF. I noticed you dropped one in the wasteland way up on a ridge. You do realize that that place is crawling with AXO. Over. Affirmative, Captain. But you were in the area and rigged say to deploy within visual range of the contact. You know that, sir. Over. Copy that, ZTF. Hey, any chance you could include a dirt bike in a future drop? This terrain is a bitch to get around in, and currently all I have is this little scooter. It beats walking, but not by much. Over. I'll talk to our A drivers and see if they have a milmo that can prepare for you, Captain. By the way, the CO wants us to conclude our little chat. He says we're being oxygen thieves and he wants you front to rear disappear to Fort Chapa ASAP. Over. Copy that, ZTF. Over and out. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 21, and this is also the Apocalypse Ranger series. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are here at uh, Ranger Station Golf, and I am uh, very close to being finished with uh, repairing this place. Uh, we have we, we basically just have the tower to do in a couple of uh, rails over there. Uh, so let me uh, show you what we've done with the place. We've mowed the lawn, um, which means we've picked up all of the large... Uh, tufts of grass. I don't bother with the small ones because it's just takes too long. <laughs> uh, we repaired the gate here. So we have a, a working functioning gate there. Uh, you know, I didn't actually look inside of here. Is there anything that needs to happen in here? Uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta fix some, this window. And that window, I think is probably just open to let air in. So I think we'll leave it as is. We'll leave that filing cabinet there. Technically, the filing cabinet's not broken. It's just open. Let's uh, mow this grass here. And maybe just this little bit here. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. No, we'll get this part too. <laughs> uh, just on this side of the sign, at least. I'm going to leave that bush there because it looks like it's part of the landscape yeah I was mostly focusing on the inside not so much all this stuff on the outside but just get this little bit here okay that looks pretty good all right so um I believe the actual progression of this POI is you start here so I th this door, I think, was partially damaged, so I repaired it, but I didn't have to replace it. So we got things cleaned up in here. There was a there was a big army truck in here and some other crap that I cleaned up. I haven't um, replaced all those cupboards, but again, that cupboard in real life wouldn't be broken. It's just open, so I'm not going to always replace all of that stuff all of the time. Um, I repaired those dropping floors from the little storage area up here and got that cleaned up. And, uh, yeah, so this looks good in here. And then uh, we came out this way. I got everything cleaned up on the tower, and we've got the um, the dew collector up here, too. Um, and it's actually full. Look at that. Nice. Up on the water tower. Repaired a couple of the rails here. 
uh, just with cobble upgrade. Um, okay, everything over here is cleaned up and looking good. Uh, so let's take a look now on the inside. So this is the workshop here. Got this all cleaned up. Uh, but I left certain things like, you know, this, because that looks like a, a pallet of ammunition. And we've got uh, both a workbench and a forge. There was just, there was too many things in these larger places to not bring me. So uh, moving forward, I'll bring a forge and a workstation to the larger uh, forge, you know, that we have to clean up. Um, I did notice too that... Um, you actually noticed this a while back, but I just forgot to t keep forget to tell you guys. Uh, we can actually make appliances in the workbench. I was doing a search on like oven and stove. I wasn't on appliance. And so um, once you make that, these are the materials that it requires. Um, you know, then you have the selection of, you know, stoves and microwaves and computers and fridges and that sort of thing, uh, which is really cool. Um, I had to, I'm going to throw that away because I had to replace the, dishwasher and the microwave in the kitchen i pulled them out of the creative menu but then i i made two of these i already threw the first one away and that's the second one okay so that's the workshop um that door is locked in place and it's like a million hit points so it's just gonna stay good now if we come in through here we got the little laundry room these are also massive hit points so i'm just leaving them i can't repair them uh, but this is all cleaned up in here. I decided to leave the, uh, you know, the flower there for the, uh, you know, for them to use when they when they move in. I cleaned up uh, and repaired all of the windows except for this one. <laughs> I forgot this one. There we go. Um, in some cases, when the glass is broken, then I, you know, I would repair the the glass too. Uh, so the kitchen's all nice and neat. I put in new cabinets. We got the working um, stove here. Uh, I don't want to open the refrigerator or the microwave because then they'll be in the open state. Um, so let's just store uh, the extra waters in here so they're there. And uh, I repaired that wall there. I don't know if you guys remember, but that wall was all busted out. And uh, let's see. Put in a new, some new doors. Should have probably put a wood door in there, but that's okay. Bathroom's all cleaned up in here, except for that. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I should probably also put some blocks down in there, too. Um, I still don't have paint yet. We'll eventually bring paint with us so we can, you know, fix that sort of thing, too. Um, some of these tiles uh, are broken, so I've been taking those out. Or they have that, you know, broken look to them. They're actually just thin wedge blocks is what they are. But uh, in the future, we'll just, you know, re remove those and just paint um, underneath them. Okay, then we get into uh, the barracks here. This is all looking good. Got the windows all cleaned up. And uh, furniture's a little shoddy, but it still works. Because, you know, everything in this game's kind of shoddy. It's apocalypse after all, right? All right, and then I think there's... Can I repair that? Nope. I guess that's just the way it looks with the screen door. Um, we should actually have a door here, though. But I think... Oh, no, I have an extra door. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put a door in here. Okay. Good. Um. All right. And then in here, that door is locked in place. So we should remove it and put a working door in there. And we want to remove the the door frame as well. This is an exterior door, so we will make it iron. Uh, and then in here we got the offices. Uh, can I repair that? I can't. Okay. We might have to... Pull that out of the creative menu. Um, so let's go into here. Oh, we got a zombie beating on something. I don't want that going on, man. Trying to fix this place up, zombies. Yeah, it's 
some more Zeke's coming in here. And let's get this guy too. Okay. She tagged that. And everything. Oop. Uh, right there. Little spot right there. Fix these rails here. I can't get to the chain link from the other side, but that's all right. I don't think they did significant damage to it. Oh, we got a, some stuff here, too. Can we just copy that block and copy the rotation? Good. Okay. It's easy to miss stuff like that, you know? That all looks okay. Uh, I'm going to have, yeah, have a little work to do here, too. So, yeah, this is a, um, I guess what you'd call a medium-sized fort. I think we need to copy this block here. Why isn't that? Um, okay, what about this block? Just got to get it at the right angle. That, <laughs> that's still not correct. Uh, oh, what if we just, here, pick this back up. Okay, copy that block but flip it around this way. No, that isn't working either. What about a non-face? Okay, I need to figure out what this block is. It's It's got to be... This is the right block. It just has to be the right-hand version of this. I don't know if we can get it that way with an advanced rotation. Yeah, I think this is a left-hand version. We need a right-hand version. Oh, here we go. Okay. This might not be as hard to find after all. So right now, it's a 60 incline half left. We need a 60 incline half right. Wedge 60. Let's do plate. Wedge 60. Incline right. This one. There we go. Man, I really love... Uh, I'm really loving the new blocks in this game. This just gives you so many more options, you know. Uh, let's repair this. And then we want to copy shape. And copy rotation. And this one too. Beautiful. Get that upgraded. Um, all right, so a couple more roof pieces here. That's looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. Doesn't look like that roof is damaged over there. Okay. So, let's see. We'll repair that. This just goes into a closet. We got a bathroom. I guess I need to clean this up too. Yeah, 
and that glass needs to be repaired. It turns the frame dark when I repair it, but that's right. We're not too worried about color. We just want everything to be structurally sound. And then this is the medical place, and I think it's in pretty good shape. I got all the trash and broken stuff cleaned up and uh, fixed the ceiling except for this piece here. Oh, we were going to see if we could do something with the light in here. Actually, I should wrench that for parts. And we've got another bad tile here, too. All right, so if we go into creative and we do light... Hmm. What if we do ceiling? We got this kind, but this isn't a an adjustable shape. What if we do fluorescent? Or am I spelling that wrong? Well, even with FL, FL, oh, it's FLUO, FLUO. There we go. Yeah, that's the only option it gives us. Hmm. So, how do we make these? Is that something we have to do in the workbench? But even if so, it should be. It should be in the creative menu, too. Light. Industrial. Fluorescent. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused about how we would make that. Well, um... I don't know how we would copy that block. Is that possibly an admin block? Or a dev block, I mean? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's called... Oh, wait a minute. It's called a light bay. Okay. It's a matter of knowing what it's called. So if we turn the dev blocks back off... And we just go light bay or light bay. No, nope, it isn't definitely a dev block. Okay. Light bay. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't know how what that would cost, so I don't know. Let's say it costs a couple headlamps and maybe six electrical parts and some iron. And we'll call it good. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. We'll pay for it. We'll pay for it, but we're not gonna overthink it either. Alright, I think that uh gets everything except for the tower uh repaired here at Ranger Station Golf. So Let's go ahead and get working on the tower. We're going to need to replace that chain link door. Um, uh, let's see. What is the double door? Yeah, you know what? I don't... Would it be the iron door that we can turn into the chain link? Let's see. I don't remember. I do, I've done it, but I just don't remember. Nope, those are just iron doors. All right, what we're going to do then is we're going to throw that out. And we're going to go chain link. And grab the single door here. Chain link fence. Okay, so this has a shape. Uh, 
and it gives us yeah but these are just these are just fences these aren't actual gates or doors and none of these chain link doors are multi-shaped they're just a single thing so all right well i guess like i said we'll pay for that by tossing our iron door and replacing it with this Here we go. We have a working door. Okay. Let's get our wrench out. That's kind of a weird place for a light to be, but it does look cool at night, so I think we're going to assume that's built into the ground and leave it there. All right. Anything else down here to clean up? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right. Let's start working our way up here. We're going to have a lot of rails and things to repair up here. That all looks good up to that point. We're going to need some more uh, blocks, too. Copy shape. We should be able to do a corner piece. Um, all right. If we go here and do a corner, which is going to be, I th think, wait, which one is it? This one. Yeah, that's not going to work there. Okay, so we're going to have to just do the straight ones here. We got incoming. Oh, we got some roof to fix over here, too. It off I just fixed that but hey thanks for the stuff though all right let's get these fixed real quick um oh yeah I was gonna make some more of these let's make I don't know 40 more since we're out here let's yep we got more to do on this side too this is a lot of work wait till we get to one of the big Military camps. That's gonna take forever to fix up. But you know what? It's fun though. It's part of the part of our story here. Whoops. Um okay, hold on. Copy shape. Copy rotation. There we go. few on this side too. Uh, we need some more iron ingots. Let's put all of that in there. Uh, okay, yeah, we were over here fixing this. Looking good. All right. Let's get this out of here. And this out of here. 
we got some work to do here. shape and copy rotation I guess that's correct oh, actually can we go look underneath there not quite correct These need to be probably one-way plate. Maybe this guy here, I think. Hey, at least these have a, a metallic look on the top, even though they're not the, the tread pattern. Very good. Okay, so we fixed all the railing here. Uh, let's get rid of this. Oh! Oh! Whoops. <laughs> um, I tried to fix this at the other Ranger station. It wasn't working. Let's try it again. Copy shape, copy rotation. I couldn't get it to, to work right. Um, whoops. Uh, yeah, here, let's go back up this way. So I think this is what we want, but we want it on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side. So let's go to shape, pull support left. We want pull support right. That still doesn't line up quite right though maybe it is pull support left but it's got to be on the in the, on this inside corner not the outside corner um Support left. One meter. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. If we copy the shape. Okay, so we know we have the exact same shape. But I can't get it to attach. Is this a an, an advanced rotation situation on face? Hmm. 
Um, the thing is, though, is... What if we put that there? Oh, there we go. I guess we... See, that's what happened the last time I did this. And maybe that's why they had that scrap metal in there to hold it. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. So... All right, here. Save one of those. Is there something else we could put in here, discreetly put in here, that'll make it look okay? We could maybe just put something very indiscriminate. Like that, maybe? I know it looks weird, but hmm. All right, and then if we oh, if we used up all our blocks. Dang, we made four... well, we did all those roof pieces though. Let's do another forty. Oh, we didn't use them all up. Well, we'll make them anyways. Okay, so copy shape, copy rotation. Yeah, whatever. I'm I'm tired of wasting time on that. It's it's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so we got more work to do up here. Oh, that's got like an outside lip thingy on it. Okay. Uh, they they did it that way to get the rails on. No, I no, I understand. Okay, it looks like we're out of cobble, so we'll have to go farm up some more of that at some point. Honestly, if I don't get all of these upgraded cobble, I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll get it up to wood at least. Nice. All right. I don't know if we're going to be able to fix these supports. They're just really weird. Copy shape. So that theoret theoretically should work if it's the uh, on the left-hand side. Or no, I guess it would be on the right-hand side. So pull support right. Oh, shit. <laughs> These poles are just, they're really weird, man. Come on, man. Get on there. Doesn't have it. Yeah, it needs another one of these kind of blocks. Hmm, okay. Let's put that there. I'll have to work on a better solution for these, or either that or not mess with them. No, that does need to be pull support right. We just got to flip it out <clears throat> further. It's got to go out. Uh, it, it. Yeah, see, our little support block needs to be in that place. <sighs> Let's 
So, if we take this back out. And. What if we did a. say this centered thingy and then rotate it so that it's lateral like that and then There we go. Okay. Now that's probably not going to stay in there. Oh, it is. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> that still looks jank, but it it's it's a little more believable. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we'll just we'll r run with it. <clears throat> okay, so could we also get this one? Oh, no, that's an X. Copy shape, copy rotation. To fit in here. Yep, it does. Because I think it's it's um, actually gluing to the rail up there. Okay. <clears throat> well, we'll get, you know, we'll get better at fixing that. It's just kind of a matter of figuring out what the game's doing and what it needs. Let's get all this taken care of. Yeah, see, we lost supports there. I guess what that means is we should always fix the catwalks first before we fix the supports. Should have probably put the rail in first before I took that other piece out, but I didn't. Okay, so that gets the railing fixed up to this point. Um, can we put this one in place now? Copy shape. Looks like it's got the right rotation. It's actually easier to do that from down here, I think. There we go. That's good. Um, I don't know about these ones up here, though. So I don't think this one's going to have a support unless we do the little, let's grab about like six of these. Let's copy this guy here and the rotation's going to be wrong. Oh, okay. Something just collapsed. I think there was another one up there that went out too. So if we do this, let's do an advanced rotation. We are thirsty. And we're actually hungry too. Let's eat this shepherd's pie. And we'll probably take a couple of those if we're that thirsty. <clears throat> okay. 
Um, if you guys have any suggestions for making this look a little bit better, let me know. I know it's a little cheese, cheesy McSqueezy at the moment, but, um, and I'll, I'll give it some more thought too and see if we can possibly come up with something that looks a little better than the floating gaps here. I don't know if I can, can I bring this all the way across? No, I can't because this block's here. Okay. I think we need this one to be the left version or whatever the, yeah, the right support. Like that. Um, can we put, I think we're going to need one more of these. Yeah. Yeah. I know that doesn't look good, but it's functional. <laughs> it's functional. Okay, well, anyway, let's keep going. We're almost done. So... Right, so this was a catwalk here. Let's make another... 20 of these and we're going to copy shape, copy rotation. Need to look underneath here for a second. That doesn't seem like the right rotation. It seems to me like it needs to be, yeah, that rotation. Oh, that's got a, um, wait, what? I think this is one of those ones that has the lip on it. But if I do a copy shape, why is it? What if we copy shape this? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to here. But we're going to need to change this. Pull plate corner. <clears throat> I think we just need pull plate straight up. Which is... Uh, here, let's just do it this way. Pull plate. This guy. Okay, but that's still not... What if we did a copy rotation? This is weird, man. Okay, I think we need to have it pointing down like that. Okay. Um, I'm going to temporarily put that there. But then we'll put that there so we can still come up the stairs here. So we'll put those in like that. And we want one there, one there. And one there. 
I guess. Okay, now copy shape, copy rotation. We might not um, be able to get that rail on there. We'll see. Okay, copy shape and rotation. Oh, let's do these first. Can we do the corner one here? to here yeah that's not going to work so what we'll do is we'll go here um, we want the little tiny probably this one here Can't see what direction it's going. It's so small I can't even see it. Here, let's put it down for a minute. Okay, there it is. So it's on that corner there. <clears throat> so let's go. Well, you know what? Let's make it the thicker one. It doesn't have to be this super, super skinny one. How about this one here? <clears throat> That way we can kind of see it better. Isn't there is there a square version of this or just this cylindrical one? I don't know if there would be or not. Well, let's just use this one. Okay, so if we do on face, then we need it to go. Doing on face here. No, it's just not going to cooperate. Okay, so we'll have to do advanced rotation. And we, uh, yeah, we can't put that one in because of, of the railing below. So that'll have to be good enough. Those have to be really careful when they're walking around here. <laughs> okay, let's get these upgraded. And then we have this corner here to fix. This is a lot of work, man. It's fun, though. Oh yeah, we need to get some iron ingots. Okay, so if we copy this plate and its rotation. Oh, that's a that's an actual block block. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, let's just whoop. Let's just go back and do these again. And then there's like a little cap piece. I think it's this pole corner here. How about on face? There. Okay, cool. All righty. 
Yeah, what do we need to do in here? Well, I guess we could have picked that up. I didn't have to bash it in. <laughs> I'm going to leave the open cupboards. Um, That needs to be f repaired. That will have to get um, some... That also needs an ingot. Aside from the ceiling, though, this is actually in pretty good shape in here. I think I will, however, remove these boxes. If we ever made this our actual base base, then, you know, we could put, like, actual storage chests in there. The windows are in pretty good shape, though. They're bulletproof. And we got a little ding up there. Okay, let's take this thing out. Can we wrench this? Probably not, but let's look. No, it's just going to do that. Okay. Okay, so let's do a copy shape. Oh, why isn't it letting us do that? Hmm. Um, that doesn't make sense. Why can't we copy this shape? I have no idea. So, okay, we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way then. I think we just want this to be a catwalk plate. Uh, let's go advanced rotation. I think that's a little thicker, though, than what's up there. Do we have a thinner version of this, but, but not like an actual flat? Paper thin plate, catwalk plate, plate plate. I think that's what we want. Copy rotation. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Okay. The roof is repaired. Got a little bit of damage here from the zombs. That requires a bulletproof glass plate, which we're not going to make. Good enough. <clears throat> okay, so let's go get some iron ingots to fix the door and the radio in there. Um, I don't know what to do about this missing rail. Uh, I don't think we can do anything about it, so we're just going to call it good. Put that in there and some of this. And we'll make a few forged iron pieces and then I think we're finally done. Man, I'll tell you what. I spent, um, I don't know, I'd say probably a good three real-time hours uh, fixing this place up. So <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yes, indeed it is. Okay, let's go hit the gate here. Okay, that fixes that. And then we'll go back up top side here and finish fixing those other things. This is all good, right? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> If we have an ingot in our inventory, does this upgrade to iron? No, it doesn't. We tried that before. It wants concrete. Still haven't figured out um, how to do that. We were trying to figure that out. Um,
I've got forged iron here. That doesn't make sense. Okay, if I right click on the door to repair it, you look in the lower right hand corner, it says it needs forged iron, which I have, but it's not repairing. I don't get it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spawn in a door. Bathroom stall door. We just got to find the right one now. There's a million of them. Cabinet door. Would that be called like a an office door maybe? Nope. Interior door? Green. Purple. I think these are all wood. What about iron door? There we go. All right, well, here, let's just grab this. That's not the same kind of door that that originally was, but it, it's the apocalypse, so it'll work. <laughs> Is there anything up here that we need to look at? Oh, there's a deer down there. No, looks like it's all good I don't want to walk out on that in case it breaks all right you guys I think it's time for us to get a hold of Zulu Tango Foxtrot and let him know that we have fixed up Ranger Station um, Golf Ranger Station Golf so let's give him a call That concludes our fix-up of Ranger Station Golf. Um, not sure if we'll use this as an outpost. It's kind of in a good spot, though, because it is on the route to, you know, the desert and the, uh, the wasteland biome. So we'll see. I think, you know, while we're continuing the to work quest, though, for Wrecked, uh, I'd like to at least get to the end of Tier 4 with him and get a motorcycle, uh, a dirt bike more specifically, before we really start, um, you know, uh, setting out and traveling the map. Um, that being said, as you may have noticed in the radio conversation there, um, High Command wants us to hit Fork Choppa next. And um, so we have two Fork Choppas. It might not be a bad idea to do this one just because it's, you know, it's in a little bit more of a, a central location to the west and would give us, you know, a, a nice outpost over there. And we could swing over and, and do Alpha too. Uh, our Ranger Station Alpha is not, not a big one, so it wouldn't be too hard for us to do. We'll hit Charlie B and Foxtrot at some point too, and maybe even do those along the way too. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, you know, part of our theme here with this playthrough is is fixing up these ranger stations uh, but i don't want to i don't want to do too many construction episodes too i want to mix it up so you know to keep things interesting for you guys it might even be that we could possibly do a side series where all we do is construction um yeah you know what that's an idea i actually did that i think with alpha 19 and it was it was uh it, it worked out really well um because we were doing a big base build and i just did all of the building in a, in a separate side episode. So we might actually do that here too. The more I think about it, I think that that's, that might work out quite well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, that being said though, I am a few episodes ahead of you now, so I won't see those for a little while, but anyway, um, that wraps up this episode. You guys, we have two more days for Horde night. So I think what we'll do is, um, we'll spend the next, uh, we'll spend tomorrow day 27, just questing for wrecked and, you know, getting, getting into tier four. And then, um, on, horde day day 28 
I, I think we're going to read, we're going to continue using our current horde base. I just need to get the base of it um, a lot more secure. So rather than having just, you know, one block holding that up, we need to have several blocks holding that up. And preferably, if we can upgrade a couple of them to steel, that would even be better. But we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.